Hey guys, Rico is here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can integrate PayPal into our app.recolize, right? So first of all, um, to integrate any payment method, you want to come into, um, on the left hand side here, come into funnel and just, you know, go into your desired funnel and go into your desired step, right? So um, right now we just have a um, two-step order form which you which you saw here we just you know that one is for taking credit card and you know payment info and all that stuff so by using PayPal you're giving people more option um, you know how you know where they can buy from you right so first of all you want to come here into your PayPal dashboard right so log into your PayPal dashboard on desktop and first thing you want to do is come into uh, two and come into all two right and um, before we move any further forward i just want to show you the finished products how that look like you know when, once it finished once it finished you want to see something like that so you want to have both of the uh credit card form the two-step order form at the bottom and paypal um, payment at the top and if you have a different subscription plan, you you know, I'll show you how to do a drop down as well, where you can have um, payment A, payment B, and payment C, right? So, yep, so by typing that, it just makes you look more professional and, you know, giving your website more chance of getting conversion by having two different payment methods, right? So coming back to PayPal here um, with all two, um, you know, come to PayPal buttons. And, um, obviously there's two parts to it one is um, adding a one-time product which is the buy now button and adding a subscription button which is a reoccurring product right so um, the, the concept and 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 the, the how to do it is pretty much the same so I'm just gonna go with the most popular one which is the subscription one right you want to come here and to create new button and you also can do that with the um, one-time product which is just come here and create new button right and how you should do that is you know first of all you just fill out the field here and choose the type of button we generally want to choose subscription button and give it a name right so I would just say you know um, just saying testing plan and choose the correct uh, currency and you know obviously if you have like you know weekly subscription fortnight subscription all that stuff do select a drop down uh, with price and option and then you can readjust it to option one two three with the correct uh, feature right and then you can also choose the frequency into um, daily weekly monthly and yearly right and you would just have to press done so um, for the sake of this I'm just gonna do ten dollar and twenty dollar and then $30 all monthly right and you know fill out the description I'm just gonna fast forward this video and fill out the rest all right so um, if you want to give people a free trial just come in here and click free trial and build it for zero and you can choose the amount of, you know how long you want them to have a free trial about right and offering a free trial would just say no all right so part two got nothing to do with any of this i just leave part two blank if you need a customer mailing address you can readjust here yes or no but um when we for me personally i just selling a um, digital products or info products it's normally a no for that case Right, so this is how the button is actually look like. Again, you can go back and edit the button, and you can actually um, change it to, um, you know, come back to edit the button and make it look whatever you like. You can also customize the parents in here using credit card logo on off. Use smaller button. Right, so that's entirely up to you. And you can change the language of the button. And you can change the writing on the button, right? So we want to go ahead and click save change here. All right, so now we have a piece of code, right? And that code is ready to go. So what we come here is select the code and copy it. All right, so we want to come back to our app.reclies and delete that um, two-step order form. Sorry, we shouldn't delete it. We should 
just add an extra tops on it, right? So we want to go ahead and add a feature. We want to add a column. What? Sorry, add a section and add two columns, right? And whatever we want to add a picture. Well, the, the the reason why we have that is I'm gonna show you in a second, right? Now because we have a code in here. Because we have a code in here, we want to create this element called custom JavaScript, right? And in this custom JavaScript, we want to open the editor and go ahead and copy and paste that code and save it, right? And with the picture, I you know I would just find something from Google, but before this uh, demonstration, I have uploaded an image for PayPal ready to go, right? So I would just pick this one. Right, so the end product it would look something like this, right? So um, the reason why I split it into two sections is because the button is too small on its own, and I'm gonna show you a side by side comparison to that. So we're just gonna add a full field, a full verb again, and we're gonna add one column, just one column, and we're gonna add the custom JavaScript. And if we come in here and copy and paste that and save it again. You know the same code. You, the button is look very, very um not uh, professional looking, right? So um if you are a web uh IT guy or a web developer, you you know, you might can fix the code and change the JavaScript. But I'm not that. I just add a photo on the side and it just look everything, just make everything look better, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and save it, and we're gonna preview it. All right, so in my opinion the second one look a lot better you can see option one ten dollar option two twenty dollar and option three thirty dollar and you know, go ahead and subscribe and while you know while this one is just um you know uh just one row by itself and it's pretty small that's why um i recommend having two column and having a picture of paypal on the side 